All right. Show boy rides again. Time to go to Spooky Town. In hindsight, I didn't fill up my chalice. I should be okay. I did that thing that I said I had to be really careful not to do, and I hit the, uh, the, uh, touchpad on the PS4 controller. God, I wish there was a way to turn that off. Alright, so here's immediately they show you this level's gimmick. You can bounce on those, or you hit them, and then they go up in the air, and then you can bounce on them once, in the air. Also the other gimmick of the spook. Lord. <laughs> Can't kill what's already dead. Did I mess this up? Oh, I did. Oh, wait, no. I can fix this. Come here. Come here. God damn it. Fixed it. Alright, hopefully this is hell. God damn it. <laughs> Be free, scale man. I love this little bit of mi misdirection here. Ah, I took him out. What the? What if I just don't... Nice, okay. Don't even have to bother the frogs. Just let the frogs sleep. Just be nice to the frogs. Oops. Oops. <laughs> like, why, why do you have to be mad? From this point on, no frog kill run. Except if the frog is hostile. The frog is already angry. I can do not but to kill a frog, unfortunately. The sad truth about frogs and frog kind. I want the treasure. Can't kill a ghost. And yes, we are introduced into Gimmick 2. The, uh... The gimmick of Sometimes It's Dark. And here we have an actually pretty difficult little side challenge. Maybe difficult isn't the word, but challenging. Actually challenging. 
No. <laughs> Go away. Let me have my treasure in peace. No, skill man. It didn't have to be this way. Ah. Okay. All right. All right. There we go. Oh, jeez. I'd like to see a speedrun of this game that's 100% music and just see how they handle that room. That room is extremely rude. All right, here's another. This game, like, this game is really cool as each level is like really full on gimmicks. Like, just to keep the levels. Wait, can I use? Yes, good. Just to keep everything feeling, like, interesting. Yeah, I think we'll do that. We'll keep the second... Uh... Chalice empty. At most times. Yeah, the shoulder button's switching. Hmm... We gotta keep the... Ah! <laughs> I was thinking about not killing frogs! Wait, yeah, why does that one work different? It's because of the frog? Do we actually have to kill the frog? What a world do we live- Oh, we do! No! No. What a cruel world this is. <laughs> well played, frog. like a single frame of just like boom now you're in the ceiling yeah I ripped my money oh well it's gonna happen at least once this playthrough oh my god skull man it was a uh, it was a, it was a demo a demo of losing your money. Gotta do that 100% uh, playthrough, showing off all the mechanics. That, right here, that thing, that is extremely rude. Of the ways that you can die. Here they are. Oh, I see how we're supposed to do this. Attack me first.
Okay, this is this is the room that I want to be in. 100%. Please be only two tiles up. It's even better. So, generally with a lot of the weirder items, as soon as you get one, to give you a nice little opportunity to try it out. Temporary, temporary invincibility is uh, perhaps one of the most broken <laughs> items in the game, and it's, one of the sec it's the second one they give you. Lasts uh, about five, maybe four seconds. But that's more than enough time to get where you need to be. Maneuver this properly. Can't kill our buddy Frogman. I'll deal with you in a moment, please. Wait your turn. Sir, I am trying to fish. Thank you. Oh my god, can, can I not fish now because I woke the spirit? What a world we live in. thing you haven't tried yet. Oh. Weird that it's the one thing I didn't try. Hmm. When are we supposed to get those gems? not worth it to try and fight too much in this this screen. Christ almighty. Oh boy, okay. <laughs> Never again that screen. Lordy Lou. Alright. Oh, you hop over from the previous screen. Alright, for that, those weird gems. That makes sense.
So, boy, okay. We're gonna implement the rod a bit here. Inspector Knight is a boss that moves around a ton. So having a ranged attack is extremely useful. Also learning the patterns of how the, the scythe moves uh, helps in that regard. <laughs> Yep. I do really appreciate Spectre Knight's gimmick of implementing all the gimmicks from the level. Oh. Could not see the arc on that one. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, so every time you finish a division of the world, uh, you get another one of the following sequences. Um, and they implement the real challenge of them. Greed mode. How many can you kill here in frozen time? No. Huh? <laughs> You know, I've never actually let her fall, so I don't know what happens if she falls. Hmm, gems. fast for the game here. Ah, piss. Ah, piss. <laughs> <laughs> that's not being that's that stop scrolling. I feel less really good about what I did there at the end. <laughs> Shopping. Alright, what do you got for me? Another meal ticket is probably ridiculously expensive. Well, that's not. We can instead get two magic ups. Three ma two magic ups, let's stop them too. Alright, what do you got for me? Today, we feast on... Oh, whale tail again. Just a... Okay. I love playing with Hoop Kid. Don't get me wrong. But, uh... If I could just warp out... That'd be nice.
Yes. So sometimes these levels exist as well. Allowing you to uh, utilize items that you've gotten to uh, get maybe a bit more treasure. Sorry, I think some couple brain farts there, real bad. I'm gonna try something really risky. Hell yeah! <laughs> I did the move, and then I got fucking owned by the monsters. I'm gonna wait for this slime to do its thing. But yeah, that's... One of the big things about the phasing amulet is that, uh, you can use it in the air. Somewhat like that, actually. Ah! I'm getting greedy. and stupid, too. Because you can just recast it. You don't actually have to wait for it to wear off. See? Just like that. But how did I get hit by you, of all things? Especially in a room like this. Just fucking use it. And the whole point of these zones is that they give you way more stuff than you're ever gonna need to get through it. Eh, maybe he had something. And you get a nice little bonus extra music track for doing them. Okay. Any level grants us access to the uh, to the next town, but uh, what is plague? I would, like, an intelligent, or like a smart move, would have been to go back and spend all the money that we just got, but, um, I'm trying to save up for Town 2. Town 2 has some new, uh, trinkets and stuff for us to get, so I want you to be able to, uh, do that. Whoa! Green rats explode. Forgot about that. Can't chain, they can't do a chain reaction. say every time you die you drop 20% you can see how that starts to add up hmm 
<laughs> Whatever. Most of my cash first. Oh, I thought I was dead there again. No, he can. You can stay there. Time this right. Perfect. Uh, uh, <laughs> I get a fucking uh. Yeah, I don't trust this game not to kill me by scrolling off, actually. It's a well-designed game. I don't think it has many flaws. But, uh, I feel like that's the thing that they might actually do. Never actually tried it. Alright, I love these, these boys, too. Just throw the potions. Actually, what am I saying? You scroll by jumping off stuff all the time in this game. It's 100% mine. Oh. Alright, gotta be secret here, right? No? Alright. And as Shove Knight is wont to do, they introduce you to the mechanic and expand upon the mechanic very quickly in a very rude way at times. Of those things are. Ascent ascended Knight. Ascended Knight. Learned in the downstab. Alright, you know what? I fucking I hate this boy. I hate this boy already. Oh god. Sorry, I'm having window trouble back here again. I need to find out if I can turn off that, uh. That pad thing. Some would say save this for a boss. I say Ascended Knight deserves it. My rival. Knight 2. The better knight. Also, just... Eventually I'm gonna run into a trouble thing again. Oh wow. Huh. Alchemy coin's still pretty alright because, you know, it travels along the ground. Which is something not a lot of your items do, so even that alone, very useful. Like this situation right here. That enemy is really annoying to get close to, so 
What if we just didn't have the Enforcer? Where this is going, game. Be gone, be gone, I say. Oh, right, this boy is the worst. Well, actually, okay. There's two way to get, two way, two way to get, two way to get. Yeah. Okay, no, still pulled it off. Uh, so you're supposed to get over there when there's still a lot of stuff left. And um, yeah, where well, it's way easier to get high on hitting that bird. Get high and hit that bird, not get high on hitting that bird. What am I saying? Um, <laughs> you'll get hit of this burn. Uh, but the other thing that you can do is you can wait for that, um, that boy, uh, the potion throwing boy to get close to you. Say you can hit those back like you could in the mini game. I'm gonna try that if he, if I fight, we get that phase again. Yeah, so you can actually hit those. That I find that to be way easier way to kill those guys. This is a bomb, right? Why didn't give you food right after you fight a mini boss? That gave you food. out on the boss. I find this boss to be get to to be get. I find this boss gets very chaotic. Think of things that suck. Green Knights. Should use the Alchemy Coin. Not actually. The mistake some people make is that they forget to use their uh, their sub weapons, which is like, like 
way silly at times because like come on they give you invincibility as a sub item in like level three remember you got that stuff Watch this shit. Oh god. <laughs> Alright. I fucked it up. But you have to admit, that was a pretty good move. Especially going to this boss with like half health. Okay. First things first. Yeah, so welcome to the play night. does this and yeah that's what happens when he hits one of those the big explosion and then that happens and then yeah so welcome to play night things just are sort of happening that ends very quickly, 9 times out of 10, but, um, it feels like it goes on way Shit. The bonus fight. We can visit the town first. I feel like uh, actually your shit just spawns right there, so yeah, let's the bonus fight. I think it's pronounced Freeze. Uh, there are three bonus fights. Three or four bonus fights in this game um, that are characters that were submitted by uh, backers. There was like a certain tier of backer and they got to put it in. This is actually somebody's like... I, I hate to say it this way because it sounds negative. But no, this is like somebody's, I want to say, like DeviantArt OC or something like that. It's just a character that they came up with. 
And I just think it happens to be that they were on DeviantArt. <laughs> I actually like Reese. Reese is really fun. He's like Ninja Gaiden. For a second there, I, th I forgot that I can't shove up. Like, Reese isn't terribly hard, like, compared to the fight that we just had against Plague Knight. Yeah, OCs aren't ex explicitly bad. Hey, Fenfil. Also, as a bit of, like, foreshadowing, um, Reese actually put, like, I, I've heard this. Uh, plays a bit of a role in the Plague Knight DLC. I've actually not the Plague Knight, the uh, the Spectre Knight DLC. Um, I haven't actually played either of those, so I look forward. Maybe I'll do those too after I'm done. Shove Knight, Vanilla. Oh, thanks for the jewels. Goodbye. We got a lot of cash. I've seen stuff of the Plague Knight DLC and it is extremely cute. That's what I'm looking forward to. Nice. Oh, hey, thanks for the host, Loon. That's a lot of people to host me in, Loon. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Just some shove boys. Haven't played this game for some two odd years. I would uh, play it on whim. Alright, so, yes. This is the the thing that you do in Armor Town. You spend money on armor. As you would... It's crazy, right? Um, I will probably end up picking up all of these armors and play one level with them. But the end goal is, of course, the gold armor. The best armor. The only armor worth a damn. But here's the red armor. We drop less money when we die. That's, that's pretty much it. Actually, hold up. We don't want to spend all of our money immediately. This is Mr. Hat. He is a hat mage. I fucking love Mr. Hat. He is my favorite of the uh, the extra fights. Just here he is, the hat mage.
I use up all my magic. Second, I need to check something real quick. Also, there, we have this guy here. <laughs> so both frogs do have to do with puns. It just matters on uh, who's telling the joke. further to do with Mr. Hat. I will never leave Mr. Hat alone. Mr. Hat, please, please talk to me a bit more. Mr. Hat, please. A moment of your time. I seem to have lost him. Mr. Hat, where have you gone? Also, I forget that. Uh, how do you get to the catapult? Or can I just not utilize the catapult yet? I probably can't use, utilize it yet. Yeah, I think I just am unable because I think that's the last location of Mr. Hat. That it? I have to return to the village. All right, to the village. Uh oh. Well, a quandary. Next time, to the village. As this video is actually be going a bit long. <laughs>